you are an infinite. Kevin McCauley. Diagnosed with schizophrenia at 14. Assalamu alaikum, my name is Aifa Binti Mama. I will explain the introduction about cargo of coal. Coal is a fossil fuel that is made up of vegetation that has been compacted between other road strata and transformed over millions of years by the combined action of pressure and heat to form coal seams. Um, coal is uh, unimportant and it is a major source of energy and also as chemical raw material that is carried in significant amount around the world that um, more than a billion tons of coal is transported transported by sea each year. However, carrying uh, coal as a cargo carries a few risks and coal must be transported in, in line with a uh, applicable regulatory regulation. Uh, this is because some form of coal are prone to spontaneous combustion, which uh, occur when the temperature of the coal rises to a degree where it is safe enough to, due to the presence of oxygen. Coal is often delivered in lump form, but some varieties are very fine grain, it's known as uh, fine and may liquefy. During the cruise, uh, all coal cargo will be monitored. For each haul, this will take the form of temperature and gas data. All coal carrying vessels must have suitable gas monitoring equipment for the duration of the voyage, and it is a critical that its equipment be in good worker order with an up to date calibration certificate before loading begins. Assalamualaikum. My name is Nur Shafika Benti Ismail. Metric number S54321. I will explain about the overview of coal which is characteristic. First, rank of coal. Rank of coal of different ranking have verified ability to absorb zero. With increasing coal rank, the rate of oxidation reduced. Lower rank coal with greater moisture, oxygen and volatile are more easily oxidized, increasing the danger. Second, area are exposed coal surface. Coal ex exposed surface areas are well it interior surface area. The largest the exposed surface area in contact with the air, the higher the rate of oxidation. Third, freshness of exposed coal surface. Exposed surface area as well as internal surface of coal is a significant factor influencing its self heating. The rate of oxidation or exposed new surface reducing continuously during the process of oxidation. For moisture content moisture in coal, as well as moisture in the surrounding oxidation atmosphere, and moisture created from coal oxidation in the stage. I will explain about equipment. Dry bulk cargo is used to transport coal and it should be kept dry as any moisture that gets into the cargo will damage the entire cargo. The equipment facility used for the dry bulk loading can be in the form of a conveyor belt driven by energy fed at the ground and by a hopper where it is a very large container and on leg that can be a magnet to handle coal and mount on a high capacity crane or travel gantry. Um, this gantry will move parallel to the pier and can move long distance covering a, a large surface space and letting the ship's retaining pipe. In addition, uh, elevator or silo are also used in the coal loading process. Uh, usually associated with crane uh, and ideally used for cargo loading which uh, it's a type of fine coal particle that are clean from large clumps. The almond machine uh, is also suitable for making use of a coal in a power generation and steel production. Due to the large quantity of coal being shipped via vessel, various almond equipment is used for stock peeling and transportation in the yard. Samson Echo Hopper is uh, the top choice for unloading ships. In addition to receiving the material, it is very important for environmentally friendly dust control during the unloading process. Overview for system which is cargo itself. Uh, 
and try but Kera is a merchant ship specially designed to transport uh, unpack uh, but cargo such as coal. Uh, today, bulk carrier are specially uh, designed to maximize capacity, safety, efficiency and durability. Dry bulk cargo cover a wide range uh, of product and raw material from grain to coal and they always have two things in common. Uh, they are unpacked and homogeneous. Uh, these two characteristics uh, make it easier to drop or pull dry bulk cargo into a bulk carrier hole. Assalamualaikum and salam sejahtera. My name is Saudi bin Abdullah, my name is Matri S55402 and I will continue the group presentation about the preparation of cargo space and loading operation stage. The cargo space preparation, firstly the cargo must clean the all cargo space and build, build wells. Cleaning the cargo means that cargo are always clean and dry. The, car, the crew need to removable the all cargo batons and waste material. This is because to ensure the bulk cargo are free from the all flammable gas. The cargo will free from oxygen, carbon dioxide, hydrogen and anything else that will be dangerous. Secondly, the bulk cargo that carries a coal must free electrical cable and components. This is because under International Maritime Solid Bulk Cargo Code had alert about the, this issue. The component and electrical cable must be carefully correctly set up. A few setup that very uh, need to alert such as machinery space, voltage, voltage space and to name but a few. This is to avoid the dangerous for the cargo. Lastly, the ship owner must be alert to suitable fitted the, and carry on board equipment. This is according to International Convention for the sea Safety of Life at Sea SOLAS that world ship should carry on board the safe container breathing apparatus. They must avoid uh, smoking at the cargoes to avoid the fire. At the same time, burning, cutting, keeping or other source of ignition should not permit in terms to avoid the damage but cargo. Now we talk about the loading operation stage. This loading operation stage must be followed for all but cargo before shipment. Firstly, pre-arrival requirement of planning the coal loading operation. That means the ship owners and also shipper need to plan clearly before loading the cargoes. This is because to avoid any future problems. Next, the cargo operation stage is cargo declaration. This is declaration between ship owner and the shipper. In cargo declaration, the ship owner need to tell everything about the cargo that was shipment. This cargo declaration must through International Maritime Solid Bar Cargo Codes IMSBC code. This is very vital to avoid the dangerous cargo unloading and further. A ship owner must prepare cargo holes and loading solid bulk cargo. They are need to obey the IMSBC code and SOLAS. As we know, SOLAS is an international maritime that will set minimum safety standards in the, the equipment, construction and operation of merchant ships. The crew, master and all the person that related to the cargo need to be aware of what each cargo involves. This is to avoid anything that will happen that can affect the crew safety. Last but not least, loading operation stage also should make sure the cargo temperature, temperature is always in low. A coal in the high temperature might be a fire. So this is the good thing that need to need a very thick alert for the ship owner and also shipper. I think this all. Thank you. I will continue uh, to present about documentation and cargo care. So let's start with documentation first. Documentation should have nine gentlemen to ship the coal. The first is performer invoice. Performer invoice is 
preliminary invoice prepared prior to the shipment or even be before a firm order has been received by the buyer. Okay. Second, commercial invoice. Commercial invoice should contain all the final accurate detail relating to a particular order. Number three, packing list. Packing list indicate the number of pack involves the content of each pack and the individual weight dimension and HS number. Number four, certificates of origin. Is a certificate of origin is a usually complete by the exporter. Is a form of supply by the chamber of commerce is usually acceptable provide it is uncertified by the chamber some country may require only a declaration of origin number five letter of credit letter of credit is a promise by bank or the buyer to pay the seller this is a specific sum in the currency to provide that the seller submit that required document by the predetermined deadline. Number six, cargo at a, or a storage plan. Uh, usually, co carry by dry bulk vessel and only variety of commodity, unlike a specialized vessel which are designed for a more limited number of coal port and boat restriction set by limitation uh, to how much cargo of a vessel can be carried. The specifications of a storage of the community can be also be a rolling factor. Number seven, bill of lending. Bill of lending is a contract of a carry and has three functions. It defines the term of contract between the shipper and the shipping line for the carriage of goods. It must be produced of what of a final destruct destination by the consignee in the in order to claim the goods. Number eight, mid receipt. Mid receipt is a temporary receipt issue that signed by the officer of the vessel. This act as an evidence. Lastly, number nine, cargo manifest. Cargo manifest is list of bill of a landing along with the total number of goods being transport. Let's continue with cargo care. Cargo care must be taken when dealing with a cargo. cargo. The checklist should be used in a conjunction and the ship operator procedure of the IMSBC code. First, prior to loading have F9 procedure. First, vessel equipped with correct equipment for the carriage coal. Number two, cheaper bulk cargo shipping. Uh, number three, cargo group. Number four, certificates of moisture content. Number five, transportation. Sorry, number five, transportable moisture limit. Number six, sulfur content. Number seven, practical size distributions. Number eight, if the cargo is labeled to emit, maintained. Na number nine, if the cargo is labeled to self heat. The second procedure is loading. Loading has five procedures. Number one, cargo temperature less than 55 degrees Celsius. Number two, no sign of liquid. Patients. Number three, no sign of foreign matter. Number four, trim in accordance to the IMSBC code. Number five, if the cargo is wet or spray with the water, master should issue LOP for wet time measurements. That's all for me. Thank you. Any relevant information which is use of coal. First, use of coal is electric power. 
Nicole is the main source of electricity generation around the world. By burning coal, power plant generates steam, which rotate turbine, which is machine that provide rotary uh, mechanical power to generate electricity. Many companies and enterprises have their own power plant, and some of them utilize coal to create electricity for their own usage, which is mainly done in combined heat and power. Secondly, use of coal in industry. Coal and coal byproducts are used in a variety of industry to generate heat, uh, concrete and paper sector use uh, a lot of coal. Coal is used indirectly in the steel industry. Thirdly, use of coal is converting coal into gas and liquid. Uh, coal can be converted into gas and liquid for use as fuel uh, or processed into chemical for use in other products. Advantage of coal First, coal energy is an affordable energy source because of the coal stable price compared to other fuel sources. Second, coal is easy to burn. Third, coal produces high energy upon combustion. Fourth, coal energy is, an, is inexpensive. Um, disadvantage of coal First, coal energy produces large amount of carbon dioxide which lead to global warming and climate change. Second, coal energy is no renewable energy source. Third, coal is fast depleting because we consume too much of it. Fourth, uh, coal mining ruins environment.